There was drama at the Pretoria High Court on Monday. The defense team representing Stephen Bafana Zondo wanted his trial to be postponed to the 30th of November 2021 as they were not ready to proceed with the case. However, the state advocate opposed the postponement, stating that the defense had enough time to prepare for the matter and that the state was ready with the trial. The judge said a pre-trial was not a prerequisite for a trial and therefore granted the defense a one-week postponement. The trial is now set to begin on the 30th of August 2021. The controversial cleric of the Rivers of Living Waters Ministries appeared at the Houghton High Court in Pretoria on Monday where his trial was expected to start. I've been waiting for this for years. Even when they took me to Seattle Commission to insult me, I asked them, let's go to the court. At least that's where I'll be able to answer for myself. Because things that they said, some I don't know them, but these are the people I know and the people I love and the people I raised, the people I took to school, the people I delivered from demons and other things, and the people that I even created jobs for. Business people are involved, politicians are involved, uh, Sangomas are involved, uh, pastors are involved, government is involved, police are involved. He has been charged with contravening the Offences Act as well as defeating the ends of justice. 24 witnesses were at the court and ready to proceed with the case. It's not about me being happy. It's more about the victims who've endured the pain for so many years. Finally, God has answered their pleas. Finally, God has brought us to this day. And I'm saying it today, I'm going to say it as I've been saying it for so many days before, justice will be saved and God's name will be glorified. The evil that is within our country in some of the churches like Zondo's church will now be exposed. Stephen Bafana Zondo last year tried to stop hearings by the CRL Rights Commission where allegations by former congregants of his church were to be heard. He took the matter to the court but failed in his bid to interdict the proceedings. Judge Leonie Window told the court in her judgment that the allegations had been made in public before the investigative hearings took place in November and that appearing before the commission will afford the pair the right to set the record straight. He said, quote, in appearing before the commission, their rights to dignity will not be unjustifiably limited. The applicants so complained in this regard is that they will be embarrassed by having to answer questions in a statutory investigation. This is clearly insufficient. There is no reason they cannot testify in camera. The commission has already granted one application. Even if their complaint about dignity has merit, the in-camera testimony will entirely remove this concern, she said. Although Window dismissed the application with costs, Zondo and Maleta's lawyers are not backing down and have asked to appeal the ruling. Zondo had also lodged a complaint with the Speaker of Parliament requesting that a Commission's chairperson, David Musoma, be investigated for misconduct under Section 17 of the CRL Act that will see him removed from office if found guilty. After consultation with our lawyers this week, we have since lodged a complaint with the Speaker of the Parliament, Honorable Tandi Mudise, against the CRL Commission members and its chairperson, Professor Luca Msoma. In our complaint, we have raised the following issues. In the hearings, various witnesses are given evidence about and concerning the Archbishop and the Church, amongst others, that the Archbishop is a witch. The Archbishop is corrupt. The Archbishop practices a cult. This letter serves as an agent request for the immediate cessation of these open hearings, as well as the request and investigation in terms of section, 15, uh, section 17 of the Act concerning the conduct of the chairperson and the members of the commission.
The request is for the establishment of an investigation for the removal of the chairperson and the members of the commission from the office. In responding to papers, the CRA argued Zondo's right to dignity had not been infringed and that Zondo's application was not urgent.